Uh, yeah. Well, I'm ju I'm just thinking. Um, is it possible that people down in the town might know more about these ghosts, or do you think this is very much like just a local thing? Um, possible but unlikely. It depends on where they're going. Um, how long ago they've passed through. Uh, did neither the headman nor the innkeeper tell me which way they travel through the town? <coughs> we didn't ask. We could ask the old sake traders in that town. Mm. They, they would be the only ones that came through. Wasn't one of the ghosts a cream? No nope. crab and the unicorn. Crab and the unicorn. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. So they probably wouldn't know. Mm. Probably wouldn't care. Oh, still care, yeah. One, one more dick crab. Oh. Wait, did you say one more dick crab? <laughs> yes, one more dick crab. Wow, You can probably get a powder to clean those up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go and find the innkeeper again then and ask him which way through town these samurai travel. Or do they just materialise? Okay. So, yeah, back to the inn. Uh, let me just quick check. Are the kids handling the dead body now? I guess we could also ask our our bow players if they enjoy ghost stories and perhaps some kind of entertainment. You know, it could be part of the whole attraction. Do you enjoy ghost stories? Let's tell a few. Let's act a few out. The oh God, no. Well, when you get back into the end, the dead body has disappeared. Ah, good. Ghosts. Oh. Okay, make sure you keep an eye on their teeth. If they're red, you know what happened. The innkeeper tells you that the two samurai, whenever they leave the inn, they ride away to the north. Okay, that's well, going away. Ride? Oh god, they have ghost horses. Uh, yep, so going north would be going away from the Korean territory. Uh, we're kind of running parallel to Korean territory. Okay. Korean territory is to the west from here. Yeah, it's ba yeah, it's basically not the road in from the town. In or out. All right. It's basically, is it basically just a loop? Oh, well, so these they guys keep... are just riding cross country. You ah, know. okay. Okay, they just go north off road. So they're keeping away from Queen Queen territory. Maybe the Queens killed them. <gasps> Conspiracy! I smell it. I say why well, slapping the prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... The prisoner is basically. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Please stop slapping me. Just ask no. Some questions. No deal. Slap. <laughs> okay, um, Pure, where are you right now? Are you guarding the Go players? Yep, yep. Alright, so you're with, uh, with uh, Igor at the moment. Okay, yeah, I'm going to come out to you now then. Because. Give me a perception roll, see if there's anything going on. <laughs> All of us? <laughs> No, 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 just the at the moment. Uh, just the guards, okay. Perception you know, there's something going on because he wouldn't just keep doing that. <laughs> yes, he, yes he? he would. He's, he's, he's just missing my it's, it's GM misdirection. Yep. <laughs> have you ever GM'd? No, yeah. but I have, been, I have played with very naughty GMs. Uh, well, apparently they were also very transparent. <clears throat> 16. Okay. I think that's what I rolled last time. Um, Kakita Fujimura looks a little bit odd. Um, you can see sweat beating on his forehead, and he's kind of rubbing his stomach, sort of, every so often. Does his manservant notice this? Um, if he has, he hasn't remarked on it. Manservant's busy preparing more tea for his master. Would it be... For, would it be okay if I were to move over to the manservant and let him know this? Yeah, that would be okay. I head over to the to, to his manservant and let him know. It looks like your master is looks somewhat ill, or possibly starting to get ill. Uh, he has not said anything, Summer. 
He appears to be sw sweating a lot now and is holding his his stomach. Attention. Oh, um. Oh, it's just that lens. I will prepare more tea for him. He always finds that soothing. Hmm. Why would I roll to to to, to, to note if the the man servant is being suspicious? <laughs> Investigate wow. interrogation or investigate notice, I guess. You're actually becoming a mini turtle. Let's yeah. see. Do I have investigate? I do have investigate. Let's see. Uh, three, two. <coughs> 25. He doesn't seem particularly concerned. What, concerned that his master is potentially ill? <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to think it's anything serious. It's a plot. He's trying to kill him. Kill him! Uncondition. <laughs> That's all that is. Uh... Then again, he hasn't seen what you've seen, so... Uh, I'm tempted to t taste the tea, but that might just spell my own doom. <laughs> I'm implying that he's trying to poison his mass and probably wouldn't be a good idea. Here it comes. Rampant paranoia. I, well, he's been think... completely undisturbed this whole time, and all of a sudden he gets ill, and the manservant is like, Oh, there's nothing wrong, he just needs a little more tea. I feel like how pure it's role-playing a more paranoid character than the character who's actually been designed to be paranoid. <laughs> he's, he's actually playing his fucking Fellowship Lecter character last time. <laughs> if he hasn't been right, it's going to be a pain to dick, but... I was right, Ra! <laughs> you guys didn't trust me when, when, I, when I called you him you out. Kill people. Yeah, you talk like a raving madman. The end is now, he's dead, I'll oh, poison. Hey, it was suited for the Battlestar Galactica setting. This is true. <laughs> so, Inspector Gadget, what will you do now? Uh, <laughs> is, is the crab still here with me? Nope, no, I'm at the end. I, I was never with you. I was no. at the end. Oh. Hang out. I was going to make you test the tea. Do you actually say that? <laughs> no, don't be rude. This is an internal dilemma right now. Uh, if, this, if, if, this, if this is any other setting than this, the people were, were, were being thrown through fucking walls by now just because we could. But this is all like, no, no, we have, there's an etiquette. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, sure, I know you're not killing anything right now, but you have to keep it together. <laughs> just remember, death is as light as a feather. Duty carries the weight of mountains. See? And the mountain crushed this guy's skull in. <laughs> See? He says as if he understood the meaning of that. Uh. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. I'm going to ask the, the, the manservant for some tea myself. Oh, God. Da, da, da. My chin um. is at the button. Certainly, Summer. Does he actually say it exactly as you just said it? Oh no, he's actually going full on paranoid now. He's going. He's a little confused as to why you want tea. Yeah, so would I be. Are you going to actually give him an evil eye while you drink it? Like, mm -hmm. yes. so this is why I drink it. And scowl at it. <laughs> he's also a little offended at your poor manners. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, he doesn't. <laughs> if that had been me, it wouldn't be the final because I'm a turtle. I'm odd. Oh, this is the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, he's just the manservant. Mm -hmm. He can't judge man me. Manservant who has the personal ear of a very high ranking Korean. I don't let that worry you. <laughs> You're the old man. Uh, you are a crane, yeah. Same family. I'll see crap by now. Well, Welcome to know, the family tour. <laughs> but you know, in for a penny. 
you just have to ride this whole destruct self destructive train now, pure. Just like I did the first time around when I tried to disguise myself. Just have to go with it. Go with the flow. Just go with it. You know, start farting and stuff. <laughs> he pours you a bowl of tea and hands it over, pours one to his master and takes that over to him. Do you take the tea from the master? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You'll switch through, eh? You just lean over and start licking. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly there's a cr uh, there's a crane bushy lapping at your tea. <laughs> so so this would do not heal. What you cannot smell is called iocane powder. <laughs> no. Yes, Australian. Now you have to decide which one is poison, which one isn't. Oh, and is he a Sicilian? Don't drink with Sicilians. Nope. Inconceivable. <laughs> I just go back to wherever I was when I was standing or whatever and drink the tea while continuing to watch the Go players. Okay. All the way thinking, oh god, I'm becoming like Chip. <laughs> Such a oh, it's the horror. <clears throat> okay. Um, you don't think you've had this particular blend of tea before? It's very pleasant. Great with cyanide. <laughs> I guess I arrive at just as you're drinking the tea then. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll go I'm guessing since the, a, our good a, Ian isn't rolling in die, you're not dead yet. <laughs> um, Kikita-san, uh, may I ask you a question? Which one are you talking to? You. I'm outside. I, I, I'm, I'm outside. The... Yeah, if he was talking to the other one, it would be Kikita Sama. Uh, would it? Okay. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, <laughs> sure, go right ahead. Do you know if there is anything of interest to the north of here? Uh, let me roll my lore check. <laughs> I have lower crane, so I should know what's in the lands. Yeah. What's left in the lands in the north? It's a barren desert. Well, these aren't crane lands. See? <laughs> yeah, it's just outside of crane land, though. Yeah, so nobody gives a shit about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, crane that's the, that's, that's, crane. that's the beauty about it. Like, if it's not theirs, fuck it. I know. <laughs> I rolled a 31. There you go. 31. Not a tree. Okay. There is an old haunted fort. <laughs> Samurai Fort. And suddenly this turns into Skyrim. Yep. The fort housed 20,000 Ronin. With liches and vampires and... Oh my. Yeah. The area is called the Golden Sun Plain. Um... previous emperor a long time ago declared that it was outside of um, <coughs> heavy clan territory. Um, there's forests to the north of where you are. Um, it's quite spectacular at sunset. It looks like the whole place is glowing. Um, the what you think was the reason for it was that the previous emperor had seen this at sunset, just declared it was so beautiful, nobody should ever spoil this. Mm -hmm. So there was to be no you know, widespread clan colonization of the territory, even though the land is quite fertile and there are naturally growing cherry trees and forests. and you know, It would be productive land, but because the emperor declared it you know, off limits. No one can go there. Fuck no, you sound like the tourist bureau or something. <laughs> they can go there, they just can't, you know, start, oh, yeah. you know, set. I'm up. just thinking that the Emperor might have seen Lion King the day before he made that change. Okay, <laughs> so... All around, but... Wouldn't be many. Okay, so for two samurai to just go charging into that is very strange. It would seem as though they wouldn't really have any business there. Well, certainly no settlements to go to, but <laughs> you never know. Uh, 
Okay then, armed with the, this new information of the local area and and with the names of the samurai, I'm going to go back and perform another law ghosts check. Okay. It's like a point and click adventure. <laughs> so I, I, I just stand there with my tea and slightly... Oh, oh no. is that all? Okay then. Oh, fine. Fifteen, it's even worse. Are you, you going to offer him some tea before he goes? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even give you time. I just like, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's kill the whole party with tea. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, thank you. That should help. Go back to my books and apparently spill tea all over them because <laughs> I got a fifteen. So <laughs> no, you what? find the scroll that uh, the crab may have misplaced with some very interesting woodcuts on it. This takes up your time for a while. Slapping your turtle is optional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. This is highly encouraged. <laughs> yeah, the slapping chip is highly encouraged. <laughs> Up until the point he enjoys it. Yeah, that is just weird. Uh, I guess if I did a law theology check, that wouldn't really tell me. Oh, no, because that's not history, is it? Um, not really. No, I don't think I have really any other avenue of investigation for this at the moment. Did you end up taking Siege? Taking... Sage Advantage. Oh, Sage Advantage? Um, no. Okay. What's that under? Uh, if well, I remember correctly, it basically gives you one rank in any lore skill that you don't actually have. Oh, random cleverness. Okay. Yeah. It's Trivia that's, that's under lore, is it? It's uh, an advantage. Oh, an advantage. Uh... Well, okay, since you don't have it, it, the, uh, it's this this whole thing is pointless. Yeah. You can't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's mental as well. You <clears> definitely <throat> can't take it unless it's granted. No, I apparently did not take that, despite the fact it being cheap for my clan. God damn it. <sighs> I know I talked to somebody about it whenever we were sorting out characters. I don't think it was me. Oh, okay. Wait, you, you, you're a min-maxer and you didn't take the cheap fucking thing? <laughs> I'm not a min-maxer. What min -maxer. the fuck is wrong with you? You are a min-maxer. You are a min-maxer. <laughs> the min-maxing is a side thing, it's not the focus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the mint, the max the result. <laughs> well, no, well, going on previous history, the, the min is the result. <laughs> well, in the end, yeah. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember that ever being mentioned to me, so, yeah, I, I never saw it. It's a, it's a useful one for Shukenji to have, simply because it is, you know, the... Yes, I have once read this story about yes, this. I, yes, I read this book somewhere, yeah. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to try and work that in uh, between campaigns. <laughs> yeah, sure. Spend a lot of time. I just worked in Legendary Spiders. Warrior in mine. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, I went back home. I spent six months locked up, locked up in a library. Yeah, and then didn't join anybody. Stay there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I don't really have anything else to go with at the moment. Then so. If anyone else is, I mean, other than going around questioning random peasants, but I don't think they're really going to have any more information than the people directly interacting with the, with the things. Well, my focus, since the uh, the murderers are, uh, well, one is dead, so he's 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 done, and the other one is tied up. Uh, my focus, which is to uh, making sure that. Uh, the grandmasters actually have, you know, food prepared for when they when they decide to quit and or take a break and or and so on and so on. So I start dealing with the with the details. Make sure that the inn is cleaned. Make sure that the tatamis are replaced. Make sure that you know stuff is good. I'm just hanging out from the. Okay. Um, when you get back to the end, it's uh, a lot tidier. There's still a little bit of work to be done. 
Um, the innkeeper is busy making uh, assorted preparations. The headman is still about, since nobody told him he could leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Pete. I turn to him and I say, and I say, what are you still doing here? Get about your business. The summer scurries out. You really have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, servant comes in. Um, my master will take food in half an hour and leaves again. Very well. Well, take food or devour food? Well, he's cultured. He will take food. Oh. He's, he will be spoon-fed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the question you should have asked is, is, he going to, is, the, is the game ending then? Or is he going to be eating while, game, while playing? Uh, as I said, he's a culture, cultured guy, so hopefully he'll take a fucking break. Yeah, but if he's being fed, he doesn't need to. <laughs> True. In that case, let's prepare uh, food for the uh, monk as well. Uh, and by let's, I turn to the tell. innkeeper and yes. uh, tell the innkeeper. Yeah. You heard him. <laughs> yes, exactly. You heard him. We need food in thirty minutes. Chop, chop. He points towards the bloodstained tatami. But, but Sam, I, I must clean this up first. Get help. Get someone else to do it. Flippers. Pure shouts from 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 the temple. Yes, yes, flippers. At this point, I actually flip the go table. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just flippers. You had told me that he'd finished cleaning up the blood. But no, he, he said it was mo is much tidier. Yeah. There's, there's still a few uh, spots of blood around. Right, He's cleaned okay. up all the stuff that hasn't soaked in. Okay. But remember, the tatami is basically a straw yeah, mat. Yeah, yeah. So replace the mat. Get a new one. Or oh, just tell him it's red now. It's, it's going. It's going to go faster. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could make it unicolored. I don't think vomiting on the mat will help. <laughs> <laughs> We, we could just execute enough people on the map to turn it red. We may not have enough peasants for that. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. It really depends on how you bleed them. Yeah, that's how I cut them. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to have the uh, two guests in here in half an hour. That's true. Yeah, we don't have the time to to dye the thing and actually have it oh, dry and so on. What a shame. Tomorrow, maybe. No. Start preparing food and uh, send for help to send for someone to replace the tatami. Yes, Emma. He disappears off out the front door. Comes back a couple of minutes later with the blacksmith and his daughter, there and disappears into the kitchen. They work on the mats while he's working on the food. Good. Like a well-oiled machine. So the mat is replaced by the time that uh, the food is prepared. The two guests come in, chatting away amicably. Uh, everybody that's in the inn could give me a perception check. Oh god! Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still a, I'm still hopelessly looking over my books. Perception. Let's see. Twenty-two. Uh, 18. Ugh. 32. Wow. Uh, 17. Anybody staying with the game board? Uh, assuming no one else came with back. <laughs> I assume that the, the, the guest, the Go players just left. <coughs> I suppose I have to stay there if no one else is coming. Well, nobody else is here at the moment. It's up to you whether or not you want to stay there. Well, I might as well stay, because there's otherwise <laughs> there's nothing stopping someone from coming and disturbing the board. Yep. 
Didn't we hook up that giant dome to go over it? Yeah, what? I mean, what's going to what? stop people from just kicking us? Well, someone very brave, for starters. Yeah, but the peasants are pretty much... Yeah. I mean, we're liable, to, we're liable to kill the whole, whole freaking village if they do that. But pure, pure. I'm, I'm literally like 20 meters down the road. You can come and get me. Yes, get, get over here. Get over here. You, you guard this and I'll be more useful. Okay, fine. Killing peasants. How are you, go are you going to send someone to fetch him or are you going to go yourself? That paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I mean, Harry, you're really it's working. Wonderful on. thing. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, is it isn't pure as back of back of his head like is this something, is something going to happen if I leave? You can just, give me, a, happen, just give me a perception roll to see if there's anything nearby. Uh, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll just, just use the, the perception roll I just got thirty two. Okay. Um Nope, all you can see is just the a flock of pigeons flying around. <laughs> and an uh, ox. And an ox. They're gonna shit on the board. Ninjas! Ninjas! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So, are you going to start running around screaming and brandishing your katana? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place. I assume we did get something to cover the board. You don't have anything to cover it, no. No, we, uh, we, talk, we talked about it, we never actually did it. Yeah, we talked about a lot of things. Yeah. Like, you know, genocide, but we didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a whole monster you are. Don't worry. Yeah, but you should. It's going to be shining. Bear in mind, the game board is about... Uh, call it about the size of your monitor. Maybe a little bit bigger. That's, oh. a, that's a pretty big game board. I have 23-inch monitors. <laughs> okay, well, maybe not quite that big, but yeah. they, they are a fair size. A normal person's monitor. Wow, do people what, still use square size CRTs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it up. Uh, in any case, as the masters walk into the uh, inn, I greet them courteously and uh, ask them how how they, their afternoon was, if they enjoyed the game. Very pleasant. We're still in the, the opening stages, of course. Hmm. Do they hear a slapping coming from the heart? <laughs> <laughs> just, just go in there, aren't you? <laughs> Are you still abusing the peasant? <laughs> abusing the ronin? Well, you know, it's not, it's not really tied up that I much, mean, though. wait, wait, actually... Shouldn't shouldn't Chip start rolling for for pain in his hand or something? Oh no, I, I keep switching. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine then. And then I use my feet. No, just. <laughs> you can always get a peasant to peasant to slap this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get my surrogate family to do it. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Fuck it out. You got a surrogate family here. You're just standing there. Yes, left hand, right hand, left <laughs> hand, right hand. Good. Now there's a shiny sunny if you do it with your hands. Yes. Yeah, oh fuck it hell! And I'm gonna deliver this guy tomorrow to the authorities with a. He's going to be very with... very tender. <laughs> yeah. You can throw him on the Barbie. <laughs> How many hit points has this guy lost from this slapping? <laughs> I'm not I mean, sure he was already slap hurt. Him to death. I don't think you can slap him to death. Given time. I don't know, blunt force trauma? No, he, he, not, he, might, not, he might be insane by the time that he gets there. <laughs> yeah, he might, he might actually want to die. If nothing else, you've succeeded in traumatizing the rat. It's had to watch all of this. <laughs> Ah, uh, fucking, fucking chip. Basically, what you're saying is the rat is really big to me. First, we chase him out of the inn, and now we're traumatizing the poor thing. <laughs> Entirely possible. 
Ah, uh, fuck. We're doing enough damage to this little fucking village without traumatizing the village rat as well. <laughs> Poor village rat. Might be the hey. village mascot, for all you know. Yeah. yeah. Casarius is probably just on loan. The other village is going to... What the hell do you do to, do to our rat? We can't use the rat now. God damn it. He just sits there flinching. <laughs> I've got an image of a rat with, uh, what do you call PSTD? <laughs> he thought all he had to worry about was pigeons, but now we just have to worry about slapping. <laughs> yeah, oh, every time. Gonna... Combine the two, catch a pigeon and slap him with it. <laughs> every time anyone claps his hand, that rat is just basically going to shit himself. Oh well, anyway, uh, so to follow up on that conversation, uh, <laughs> will you be uh, continuing the game in the evening? Of course. Wow. I've still got a few hours before dark. Very well. I'm sure we can get another handful of moves in by that point. Hmm. Wow. Well, uh, I hope that uh, your gameplay was uh, undisturbed. If uh, not, please uh, let us let me know and I will uh, correct any issues. Here, stop being so paranoid over bloody tea. What? I mean, you. I'm not paranoid over tea. I'm asking them a direct question. I mean, how fucking hard is that? No, I'm saying that they might complain about me being paranoid over tea. Yeah. Well, they haven't said anything yet, so you're kind of anticipating here. He's being I'm paranoid. paranoid. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> so, suddenly his character is a paranoid for some reason. Well, suddenly the character is basically pure. That's it. He was impure before? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, those in the end do notice that Kakita Sama looks a little bit pale. Uh, okay. Um, I'm not slapping, that's his problem. <laughs> Uh, Kikita-sama, you uh, <laughs> look slightly unwell. Uh, are you feeling okay? Oh, I'm fine. It's just a, a little indigestion. Oh, that tea! It's the tea, oh. I tell you! <laughs> you just scream from the temple. Because he rode on a full stomach. <clears throat> well, I hope the uh, food here is to your liking. We wouldn't want to... Worse than the your condition. I'm sure it'll be quite acceptable. Very well. Uh, anything that we can provide? Yes, the peasants are very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> or we could provide. You hear from the outside hut. <laughs> <laughs> Our peasants are delicious. <laughs> no, nothing I can think of at the moment. Very well. Please uh, enjoy your meal. I will. Not disturb you anymore. Of course. He's probably going to die on us, isn't he? Probably. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Grave dishonor to you all. No, yes. no, no. Seppuku would be your only, uh, only way to restore your honor. Not if we kill him first. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that works. Quick. If you kill, my, if you kill my clansman, I'm killing you. Oh, you guys we couldn't even hold hold on to a fucking vegetable bowl. Save their life. Well, you couldn't hold on to a peasant. A grass peasant. <laughs> <Yeah, could. laughs> Eldest, you could always mention that we do have a priest. I was actually working up to... The, I, I, I actually, yes, I, I was thinking about that and uh, just questioning how to, how to say that. Uh, well, as I'm turning away, I turn around and I get back to them and say, uh, we do have a sh Shikenja in uh, our company. If you would like him to examine you... Uh... That's a bit rude. You, should probably, you probably shouldn't suggest what? him to... You should, if you are feeling more unwell, you don't want to like directly say to him, oh yeah, you're feeling too unwell, you should have the Shikenja examine you. No, if I mean this is an open-ended question. I mean, no insult here. If you would like to be examined by Shikenja, we have one available. I don't think it's that serious. In any case, please keep it in mind if uh, your uh, 
if your symptoms get worse. Of course. Your, your well-being is literally our well-being. <laughs> well, yeah. I say we bring an item and examine him. <coughs> right, I'm done talking to those guys. Let them enjoy the meal. Yeah, those guys, I mean... And once they've eaten, I will eat. Okay. I, I guess eventually I'll stop being frustrated with my books and hunger will get the better of me as well, so I'll also leave and around about the time they finish up their meal I'll start heading over. Okay. So the meal seems to pass without any incident. Two men are chatting amiably. After they're done, they uh, take a few minutes to attend to personal ablutions and then return back to continue their game. All right. So, so you probably have a couple of hours of daylight left, and then if they have torches, they may play on later. Fucking hell, these guys are machines. Well, uh, so once they're done, I will uh, call for food for myself and anyone else that's hungry in the inn. Still a meal. You know. Well, none of you have eaten since breakfast. Exactly. Yeah, so it's time. And uh, after the meal, I will uh, go to the shrine and uh, spend uh, or spell, uh, our lone watchman. Okay. Well, yeah, let's just relief pure from food. For food. Well, he's going to get angry. And, well, he's going to get hangry, actually. Didn't you already call for Edge to relief? No, no, because no, there was no one around. And apparently, Pure said nothing to me as I was heading across to the inn. There are pigeons to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pure might be starting to lose her mind, eyeballing the tea and threatening the pigeons with a katana. I mean, I guess once El once uh, Eldest has gone over to stand stand guard. Um, I would probably, you know, if everyone else is still in the inn, then we, I would bring up the topic of, you know, the, you know, how are we going to handle looking after this board overnight? I mean, ideally, I would not want um, either character again. Uh, I, I wouldn't want either Pure or Igor to to be standing guard out there because they need to be in here to guard the actual uh, players. So I then look to the tortoise. Has he returned from slapping the peasant? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah is, are you even here, Chipu? Uh, click the link in the chat and you'll see what I'm doing. You really want yeah, to I, I made some entertainment out of it. Do not multi-fight for slapping him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I was actually thinking about that one before. But yeah, I'm probably coming back at some point to eat and get some rope tracks to time up properly. Yeah, I mean, um, what, what I would suggest is, uh, I guess it's... Um, I keep... Keep losing your character names in, in my feet here. Okay, so I, I would I would turn around and say uh, that uh, Hida and Kikita both need to be here at the inn, and then uh, you know, so Jipu, I'd suggest that you stand guard. You know, the first one, the first round, and then you know, come and get me. Sort of like halfway through the night or whatever, and I'll cover the morning. 
if we even care, if we even still care about the board that much. Well, the board is our main focus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a part of it. It's part of it, yeah. Yeah. So if you if you agree to that, Chip, then uh, I guess that will be our plan of action. So I guess the first thing I'll do is just I shall be here. I shall come back momentarily. I just have to make sure our guest doesn't leave prematurely. I go. I go find some rope. Um, actually, quick question: What's the climate like here, uh, particularly at night? Because we've already been here for a day, haven't we? Um, you're down in the southern part of the empire. You're relatively close to the coast. Um, Is it summer or? Because the. Autumn. The spring. Well, you're not into autumn yet. You were at the Cherry Blossom Festival, which was the spring a few months ago. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's summer? Early, summerish? Early summerish. Early there we summer. go. Okay. Oh shit, I gotta be AFK for a minute. Okay, and so, because what I was thinking, since we've also kind of got to still keep watch for the, our prisoner as well, it's probably going to be better if we keep guard outside of the shrine. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like completely useless useless weather for that sort of thing. No, I mean you're you're gonna be in no danger of the elements. Okay. The worst you could expect would be rain. Okay, yeah. Also I make sure to mention that if you try to escape, there's more slapping. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think I have him uh, you know, <coughs> to the point where he won't, he's just in fear of being slapped. Just, just make sure to check his bindings and then bind his feet as well. Yeah. I mean, what you could do if you want to do would be have your servant sit and keep watch on him all night. He wouldn't be good for much else. But uh, it's an option. Oh, I guess pure servant might, always, might as well do something. Or people are servant. Ego has a servant, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, Ego has a uh, man child or something. What? <laughs> oh, he's AFK, okay. Yeah, he's AFK. I'm kind of picturing the servant <laughs> just standing around, just being sort of perplexed at all the, thing, all the strange things we keep doing. That's because he's like the. A wise peasant that doesn't really draw attention to himself. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, we don't make enough use of that fucking servant. No, we don't. I did, but in the previous... Um... Yeah. In first, step, in first session, you were all over that. <laughs> so I, I, I guess we'd tell Pure to... Or should we just uh, use Igor's servant? Oh, sure. both, both servants. What? They don't both have servants, do they? I have servant. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Ego has a servant. That's what I think. <coughs> yeah. He did in the first and second session, at the very least. No, I don't think he's eaten him yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather poor manners to eat your servant. Sure, even for a crab. <clears throat> Even for a crab. It's that whole thing about red meat. Oh, oh yeah. right, yeah. And servants count as red meat. Mm. Uh, but he is crab, so you could argue his seafood. <laughs> True. A seafood servant. <clears throat> right, so... I don't know. I'm just patiently sitting at the go match. What? You're already here? Okay. What? Yeah. I, I, I said. Yeah, I yeah, left. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure, pure. I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking with this while you're, you know, while you're there. After oh, so, this, this so, okay. well, yeah. Oh. After, I, after I've eaten, you, I spell you. I thought, this, I thought this was out of character talk. So. No, 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 no. After it, I spell you, I was. 
I, After I, I had eaten, I spelled you out the fucking uh, Go game. Okay, so what have you said to me? I haven't said anything to you. I just no, said that it's time to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eldest arrived and basically told you go and eat. Oh, oh, thank you. I'll go and do that. Yeah, and then it's while the four of us are there that I was basically saying, look, okay, I think that we should keep the two Bushi here in their rooms because you're basically their bodyguards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that part. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was oh, doing that in character, kind of. Oh, and Edge, don't forget to offer Pure some tea. To relax her <laughs> nerves. I have my own tea, thank I'm you. not Scorpion, I couldn't pull it off. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. Plan, yeah, yeah so I guess if, if no one has any objections, then that's what we'll do for the evening watch, then. We'll, uh, Chipu will take the first watch, and I'll take the second. Okay. So what are you going to do, about three, four hours each? Sure. Yeah, I guess half the night each would be fine for me. My, I'm character's, actually... my character's an early riser anyway. Who do we kill? Well, we're talking about if you actually eaten your man seven yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no? Okay, my... we're going to send you, uh, the two servants to guard and slash slap the prisoner. <laughs> Okay. Because we completely forgot. That's when we put the prisoner service. under control. If you keep slapping him every time he falls asleep so he gets no sleep, he'll be a lot more biddable in the morning. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the servant's instructions. <laughs> You're to stay up all night watching this Ronin and make sure to slap him every time his head knocks down. <clears throat> Instructions go. It's probably the strangest they've received yet. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I tell I'm them just, just, just don't, don't listen <clears> to this. <throat> I'm channeling Chip. <laughs> yeah, no, I, Stop I channeling don't... Chip. We have yeah. one Chip. It's enough. Bad yeah. enough. I just, Dude, I, I just these three don't... chips. I would have the power, not one. So I would have the slapping one as well. I just tell Tiku to like, look, just look after the prisoner. That's it. Don't, don't listen to the tone. So, good servant, bad servant? No, more like observant servant than the other one. Who actually does do, do what Chip says. Well, are you ordering the Ronin slapped all night or just kept watch on? I tell mine to just watch him. I don't know what, what, what the other servant is supposed to be doing. Yeah. What are you mine's going to tell the other servant, Pure? Be mindful that things could be slipped into your tea. Oh, man. Yeah, same. Uh... Come on, people. Life or death situa decision here. Slap or no slap. Come on. What? I thought this was about fucking tea. <laughs> <laughs> this, con this conversation is all over the place right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. Basically, if you're, we're trying to decide now, is that Igor says, told his servant to not slap the prisoner. Are you going to tell your servant to slap the prisoner? No, my my, that's what my next servants for. So basically, that person is going to go unslapped all night. Yes, horrible. I know, but you know, we're just gonna have to live with it. He's gonna get twelve. He's gonna get like eight hours of actual sleep. Wow, I'm envious. If you have animal training, you can maybe train the rat to slap him, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. just the rat to nibble. Right now, I wish I had, so I could do the rat that. That would be fucking That's amazing. That's why I was saying to cut, was cut his belly. The rat would be attracted to the uh, nice juicy innards. But, but, fuck you. But that's when we were going to kill him. So. Uh, As opposed to handing him over to the Korean who will torture him and then kill him. Hmm. It's, you know, this is their business. Just for good I'd mention. Well, at least he's not going to get slapped, so I guess that's that. You know, silver lining. What the fuck is this? That's one way of looking at it. Okay, so the remainder of the evening passes quietly. The two masters play their game. When it gets dark enough, they agree to call it for tonight. Head back to the inn, wash up, go to bed. You've probably got an hour or two before midnight. 
So I, I've probably gone to bed much earlier than that because I know that I'm going to be getting up really early. And I'm keeping watch. Right, so... As... Wait. As the uh, game session ends... Uh, I sit down uh, by the board and uh, note down the positions of everything, of all the pieces, okay. and uh, then cover the board with, right, let's see, what do I have to hand? Some kind of fucking cloth or something, I mean, uh, oh wait, I have a straw hat. Fantastic. I'll just place my straw hat on top of the board. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to be big enough to cover it. Unless yeah. you've got, Have like, you seen the straw hats that these people wear? Yeah, the straw is massive. They're, they're pretty massive things. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that would actually fit over the board quite nicely without disturbing any of the pieces. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, I'll just cover the board with a straw hat after noting down the positions. And then that, that piece of paper I will bring... Uh, with me to my room. You don't even need the paper because you've got an eidetic memory, haven't you? No. Oh no, I it's do. Chip. Chip has yeah. that, yeah. Well, I have precise memory, yes. So but no one believes in me. <laughs> yeah, true. But I have all your names down on my list. And you just make the list. Okay. Does anybody wish to do anything during the night other than sleep or guard as appropriate? I leave instructions to be woken uh, at daybreak and have food prepared for me before I get woken. And I will just be stopping. <coughs> <laughs> and also the horses, two horses prepared. I won't be slapping them. <laughs> no, you won't be slapping horses, but uh, I, I need to borrow one of your guys' horses. Uh, use mine. For transport. Use mine. Yeah. So, instructions for the morning, I need breakfast prepared, I need to be woken at daybreak, and the horses need to be ready and saddled when my, uh, my breakfast is... I sure you don't want to bring Pure, for example, as a yeah, I escort. Say, I, didn't you want me to go and work to you? Yeah, I might as well. Okay, let's set it up that way. You come as well. We, I, I might as well have a crane uh, representative. Okay. <coughs> what are you going to do, cry about it? Well, uh, pigeons, tea, slapping, and other bullshit. Okay, yeah. two breakfasts, three horses, daybreak. Okay. So Sorry. for those who are staying up on guard, can I get a stamina roll with each of you? Okay, uh, how does that affect me since I do get three quarters of a night's sleep anyway? You'll have a lower target number. Just a lower target, okay. Uh, stamina in... Uh, ten. Two. <laughs> Roll two, keep two. Twelve. It looks like you did too much slapping, tired, Chip. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't fall asleep. He's all slapped out. <laughs> so basically you don't find me in cross position with my head down in the ground. <laughs> Which would be a great loss of honor. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Well, I mean, if you fall asleep on guard duty, that's mm. kind of a big deal. Yeah. Even if you are just guard guarding a board and pieces. Go to duty, go to duty. Would I be able to retcon my character as I have a slapping mechanism? I would never slap myself if I fall asleep while no. guarding. No? No. Too tired. The second slap mechanism is deactivated. Uh, the slapping mechanism would be your peasant. I hope my stroke is family. You can all night and slap me if I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he slaps her. You are a little dog! Cuts him down. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. And just, just they just find me in the, in the position, sleeping position with dead peasants around me. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Not again. So basically, what the, the the ideal way of guarding something is basically what placing three samurai, and as soon as one of them falls asleep, yes. one of the others uh, cuts his head off. Yeah, shameful destroy. It's an option. It is an option. Good to stand with samurai real quickly. On the toes. 
on the other hand, I mean, you're going to a, a larger town now. There's a possibility you could hire Ronan if you wanted to bulk up your numbers. There you go. Well, are we expecting anything besides ghosts? You don't know. Well, they don't, we do have Harry as GM, so probably yes. Want to have more people to help with the guarding, or to run errands, or whatever. You could hire Ronan, or you could hire servants. I presume you're going to pick up more supplies when you're at the town. Yeah, that was a plan. Yeah, which is why I was actually thinking that maybe I should have gone as well, but I'm probably too tired. And, and I can always go into town another time to buy a surprise. Yeah. Or you could leave a list. Unless they're all dishonorable things that you need. I'll um, write a new list then. I'll just keep my personal list. R write a list, leave some cocoa. So we'll need some milk, slapping gloves. <laughs> Fresh fish for the slapping. Don't, yes. don't forget the loo roll. Don't forget the loo roll. Uh, milk, loo roll. Apparently wrist support. You need. Wrist support for slapping. <laughs> Maybe a stick. It says slapping tripod. <laughs> you want to do that tonight, I think. Yeah, it's probably better not to think about that one too much. Uh, the, the the object of your slapping is being taken out from the fucking village, so, I mean, who else are you going to slap? A new slapping target. Yeah. Quite a new slapping target. <laughs> one one, hit, one of his adoptive family, maybe? <laughs> Bring an orphan. Well, the, 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 the scary thing is that I started this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, and I took it over. I'm sure he can find some peasants to slap if he really needs to. <laughs> it's Should I make a, a, a new disadvantage? Being this... slapped or wanting to slap? No, having to slap. Fascination? <laughs> Fascination. <laughs> he tried it once, he's found he really has a taste for it. Oh, if I do something slapping, I have to join in. I've, I've created a monster. On the other hand, once this spreads, I can say that I did this before it became popular. Did it tips the slapper? Yeah. Great. I'm the OG slapper. OG slapper. Peace and cheer on. What the hell has this campaign devolved into? <laughs> <laughs> well, mainly bullshit. 